What is up, creator? Are you looking to attract more viewers to your live stream by using amazing countdown animations? Are you interested in making videos move to the beat of your own music? If you are, you, you are, are going, going to love, love this, this tutorial. tutorial. I will be showcasing a program called Magic, which is a music visualizer generator that uses sound to automate the movement of graphics for your videos. This animated effects generator has an endless supply of special effects, and I will be demonstrating the visual capabilities of the software and quickly show you how to use it for your channel. <clears throat> if you're new to this channel, I provide super fun tutorials on OBS Studios, YouTube tips and tricks, and other video software tools. The purpose of this channel is to bring you the juiciest information to boost subscribers and views for your channel. Subscribe and we will get some together! Now, if you're a fan of the show and you've been watching my videos for about two or three months, you've noticed a little three to five second animation when there's a drum beat playing and my thumbnail moves to it. And you can see an example right here. Now, in order to create that, I have to go in to the waveform and apply animations to every single bump in the wave. And it is absolutely enormously time consuming. But now with the use of this music visualizer generator called Magic, I can just plop the graphics in there and let the software do the dancing, which saves an enormous amount of time. Usually I don't buy software right away, but when I downloaded the trial version and started experimenting with it, I realized that the power of this software is off the hook. So I immediately purchased it for 45 bucks and tore right into production so that I can show you a really cool demo. All right, this demonstration uses eight individual scenes that are switched with increments of time when applied to the song that I'm about to play. The music was created by a very talented music composer out of Paris, France. His name is Jeremy Lawerse, and you can find a link to this song that you're about to hear right there. 90% of the music at his channel is commercial free and this brings me to a very valuable strategy for you if you have a music channel. Make your work commercial free and that will get you more exposure because people will want to use your work on their projects and then they will have to give you attribution if you make it a requirement. It's a strategy to get the word out on your work. The individual scenes use semi-transparent pings of my face and they're going to be switching back and forth and all this craziness with the automated software. After I demo this, I will give you a sneak peek on how the software works and then I will show you where you can download it for yourself as a trial. The following 60 second demonstration uses fast moving bright colors and shapes. If your brain is photosensitive, please skip this section. demo thanks again Jeremy for allowing me to use your music fantastic stuff again you can find him his channel name is dread red full d-r-e-a-d-r-e-d-f-u-l thank you again Jeremy now let's get into how this program works and how you can make your own animations here we go okay here's the working space of the music visualizer generator called magic I'm gonna highlight the different parts of the program so that you can get kind of a global perspective on how things work so in the upper left hand corner there are nine individual scenes there is no way to really tell what's playing or what's being shown for this individual scene called small face so if I go to window and click magic window I get to see what this scene will play okay now there currently there isn't any music playing in the program and that's why my face isn't moving and it's just the the uh, star field moving that's fine if I go into window again and select the 
Input Sources window. This is what allows me to designate the sound that will do the controlling, okay? So you can add a live mic, you can add MP3s, all kinds of crazy stuff. In this case, we have an MP3 playing. So if I hit the play button right now, you'll see motion. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is something called a playlist. Now what makes this really neat is that it allows you to cycle through the individual scenes that you create. So there's two ways that you can do it. You can do it manually with these two uh, purple buttons at the bottom, okay? Or if I click the playback button control checkbox here and click the A, this turns on the automatic switching, which is designated with these, these time stamps on the right hand side. And on the left, you have the designation of the individual scenes. If I take the scrubber from this input sources window and put it all the way to the left and hit play, you'll see that the first scene is playing. All right. And if I move the scrubber, it will automatically cycle through the scene that has been designated for that specific timestamp. It's really cool and it allows you to create a cohesive, neat movie when you export to video. Okay, we're gonna create a brand new scene. So we will go into scene, subchoice, add new scene, and we get a blank scene. And the only module that we get is the magic module. And what that represents is our, our visual output. So in other words, it equals the magic window, which is right here, the output, okay? That's what that represents. Currently, there's nothing attached to it, and that's why the screen showed black, because we're, at, we're not showing anything. So let's add an image. So I'll right-click in the gray screen and click Add. Layers, let's see, what is it? Um, media, Image, okay? And we have our first module. Every single module that you add has its own separate grouping of features and parameters and all kinds of tweaking things that you can do with it. In this case, we selected image and it's asking us to upload a photo to the program. So we'll click the little square box here and we'll select a image, Fist Kid, there he is. Technically, if I go into the window now and select magic window, boom, there he is, the Fist Kid, okay? Now, we can fit it to height, we can fit it to width, we can stretch it to the full size of the frame here, all kinds of different little parameters for this specific type of module, okay? Now, what I'd like to do is I wanna make this move according to the sound wave in regards to size. I'm gonna right click, subchoice add, and I'm gonna to go to the bottom and I'm gonna type in scale and hit enter. Now. Because I right-clicked in the gray area, it didn't associate it to what I wanted it to do. It added it as a sub-layer to the image. In other words, it's going to add the scale below the image instead of applying the scale to the image. So how do you do that? Well, just take the spaghetti line there and unattach it and take the spaghetti line from the other one and be put it right to the beginning and then take the black line and reattach it to the screen. And now we have an image that's going to be affected by scale when we apply the music. So let's first go into the window here, select the input sources window and make sure we have an MP3 set up. We do. So we're good there. Now I'm going to look at the parameters for scale and I'm going to check off X for all. In other words, it will apply to both X and Y quadrants at the same time. And then I'm going to click this little chain link to the right and this is how you turn on the ability to have the waveform control the motion of the scales by clicking that little link. And then we make sure that the right source is selected. Currently we have a song attached to source one. Source one is correct. We're gonna uh, add a feature where volume is the control. If you wanted to control it to a frequency range, you can do that here. So you have even more minute control over when the scale is to trigger based on the different volume frequencies. We're not gonna really get into that right now. We'll just keep it simple and select volume. And then we will play it and let's see if this thing starts to move when we hit the play button. There we go. So you can see that the audio wave triggers the size module and affects the image that's in front of it and applies it and puts it on the, the magic window. But the one thing that's kind of funky about scale is that it's very jittery and very robotic the way it moves. 
So there are different things you can add to the motion, okay? And that's called a modifier, which is this little purple box with two lines in it. If I click this and I add smoothness to it, if I hit the play button, now I'm gonna turn this music down just a little bit. I hit the play button. Now the motion of the boy is much slower and smoother and more organic. The higher I turn it up, the smoother he's gonna get in regards to his motion, okay? Now, if you notice when the peak of the volume drops off, the little boy goes almost down to zero. So instead of having him vanish away when the music stops, watch, I'll hit pause, boom, he just vanishes. We don't want that. We want him to stay at a specific size and only grow instead of shrinking down to zero. So what I'm gonna do is add another modifier and we're gonna call that, we're gonna look for offset. So we'll hit the play button again. And now we'll bring him up a little bit. And if we hit stop, now he shrinks to the normal size. So I just wanted to show you that and get you off the ground in regards to scale because scaling an image to music is a very, very common thing, okay? This is just the tip of the iceberg in regards to what you can do with this incredible program, this amazing visualizer. There is a pile, and I mean a pile, of effects that you can apply. This is a list of all those parameters. I'm just cycling through them right now for you so you can take a peek. This thing is incredible because if you look in some of my other scenes, what I've done is applied multiple effects to all kinds of stuff to create amazing abstract stuff that happens during the music. You can do things like you can control the play speed of a video based on your waveform. You can add vector graphics and you can do color and you can do shape and you can do blurring. It just never ends. And when you start to combine these cool effects to do what you want, it is absolutely incredible. I purchased this software and I worked on it because I loved it so much for 15 hours. I got sucked in. If you want to download this music visualizer generator, go to your browser and go to magicmusicvisuals.com. And in the navigation, you'll want to select download and choose download free demo. And it'll take you to the download page. And it says here, the demo contains almost all the functionality of the full performer edition. The main limitation is that you, uh, saving is disabled and a watermark will appear on the output after 30 days. So I'm not going to explain what you can do to get this on other things. I'm not going to get into that. I think you can figure it out on your own. If you have any questions about the software, feel free to put those in comments. I'll see if I can help you out with them. If you're interested in seeing some more demos with this video, click these right here. You will get your mind blown about how powerful this software is. I will catch you on the flip side. Stay strong, creator. Keep fighting and you will win. <laughs>